No, I didn't get the painting started last week. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, right, the kettle's just on. So before I start, week nine, the non-ultimate week. Uh, T minus nine weeks, right. Uh, a thing was made. A thing was made. Uh, so this is the this is sort of where we are. So I got ready to paint, but the in thinking about it, I spent a lot of time thinking last week and a lot of time. Thank you, Simon, and thank you, Pete, and all at Marineware in uh, in Southampton. I think they are. Uh, for you know, I was on the phone for a very long time with a very knowledgeable man. Um, a trade supplier of marine uh, boat building uh, materials. Um, thinking, how <laughs> am I going to not run out of time? <laughs> um, and really, the answer is uh, to go with the plan that I had. And that, you know, trying to, if I had in my mind that it was a, an answer to sort of shirk you know, the doing the full job and doing things in wood and kind of lashing it in in a kind of a way, that's not going to be any quicker. If designing it in a computer and cutting it out of what I have there, which is this green foam um, and covering it in glass fibre, if that's not quicker than, you know, trying with a pencil and a tape measure and to get curves and intersections and joints in wood, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not going to be. So I'm trusting myself. I'm trusting my abilities to sufficiently well design digitally a series of parts to be made into a kit to be cut out of foam. Um, and I've got a projector set up, set up at that end of the room. Um, so I can hold the foam up at this end of the room and just draw around it, cut it out, have a set of parts, assemble it on the bench. Um, and and put it on what I needed because if you you know the, the bit that we're talking about is the bit over the back of the boat the bit that covers the cockpit um, uh, so the bit that covers over all of this and provides the hatch and the dome on top and you know sensibly all of the fitting inside and all of this galley and the batteries and everything would be fitted before I covered it over with a tight hatch. <laughs> it would be much easier if I attended to those things whilst it was still open so that's what my plan is. And I've got some epoxy coming so to make this whole cover on the bench um, and put it on in a magnificent uh, flourish at the end <laughs> and then paint it and be done. Um, so, sensibly, then, now, I am dealing with structural items which it would be much more sensible to have underneath the paint. And this is what this is. So this is the... for the fire... for the fire stove to sit on. Oh, well, I'll have a look at that next week once I've stuck it in. Uh, glassed between a structural grid. Um, then I've got two anchors, not anchors, but back plates for chain plates. Well, they're sort of anchors for the series Drogue uh, uh, safety device. Uh, so I've got all of the wood. We collect, we always have in my family, we've collected bits and pieces of red wood. Um, and these are they that remain um, and I also have a series of offcuts um, in the airing cupboard that I've had for a while here most of which came from having the rudder made there's the rudder um, and its offcuts um, and another little stack of uh, red woods there um, and uh, Quite a few sheets of veneer, actually, that I've had for a while, came from Sheffield when they were building the 
Sheffield Film and Media Centre, whatever it was, I think it closed now. Millennium Project. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's 20 years ago. Right, good. Is... Uh, right, so yeah, that's what I'm doing then. So last week I did manage to... Let me put the light on. Um, I did manage to get what? I smoothed those uh, lockers around. The edges that I said I was going to do are just the... Um, so where the junction of the deck is, you can't get the belt sander, not grinder I said last week, the belt sander, into the very corner. So it was just using the Dremel to do that whole corner edge the entire way around the boat. Um, and I did also, which just needs a bit of finishing. That beam. Is now reinforced. Um, so um, I've got a good plan about how to get done and I'm not too stressed about that um, but working at this rate is bringing me quite close all the time to losing my cool. <laughs> the slightest little thing because I'm just I have no capacity because I'm running at like 110% or whatever it is um, but there you are try and just keep it simple I think you know this week is we're gonna get the paint on this week <laughs> I said that last week I know is um, to put these bits of wood I'll carve the new pieces of wood today fix them in maybe tomorrow wait for the new epoxy to come so yes marine wear I'm gonna make a video about well, after I've used it, if it lives up to my expectations, Ampro from Gurit as a um, as a, an epoxy resin, um, quite different from with a slow hardener. To be quite, it's quite noisy out here, isn't it? Is I did this beam in West System epoxy, and um, West System fast. Which is just, you know, your generic, what am I gonna, I need some epoxy, what am I gonna use? You're gonna use West System 105, because that's what everyone has. That's like generic epoxy. Lloyd certified uh, boat building epoxy. Um, but it's an absolute nightmare to use. Because <laughs> you put it in the pot and mix it up and it starts going hot in your hand. And if you leave it in the pot, sat down without stirring it it will set fire to itself um and just do the job and doing it so you can only have a little bit at a time because it gets so hot in the pot the more you have the hotter it gets so you keep having to mix up little little batches so you're running in and out of the house and with that beam i had a, like a whole piece of glass fiber all slipped down on one side ran out of and it was just hanging off <laughs> in wet epoxy which isn't very sticky hanging off and then doing it and then doing it it's going hard all the time you're working and it's a real race against time and it's very uncomfortable very uncomfortable so i'm not using it again i'm not going to use it again it's terrible um so ampro from gurit ampro 30 i'm getting has a pot life so the length of time it will sit in a pot for um instead of minutes with uh west system fast i mean it is fast um just the generic West System epoxy is minutes um, and hopefully the gear it will give me some Remember over an hour, you know, and then still be sticky. It doesn't form a what's called an amine blush Which you have to with the West System you have to cover with peel ply and peel off or wash it down afterwards And it stops the paint from sticking to it. It's like a residue that forms on the surface of epoxy when it goes off um, And Ampro doesn't do that <clears throat> um, it, it's uh, it sounds like a much more sensible thing from marine wear um, and Gurit and uh, so yeah missed the, <laughs> missed the delivery this morning <sighs> I was here I didn't hear the door anyway um, yeah so hopefully that will be here so make the that just needs a bit of grinding in that beam across a bit of grinding in make the bits of wood, put the wood in tomorrow, clean out 
And that really is it. That really is pain. That is pain. Right there. That is pain. So I'm like, nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. When the brush touches, I will be like, oh, because I'm just painting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big thoughts last week. A lot of, you know, just designing at a very, very high rate at the moment. Um, and I've had, I've got solution for the outboard motor. I'm so happy I've got a solution for the outboard motor. It's going to be really easy to put on. I've been worrying about it and worrying about it and worrying about it and worrying about it. It's going to be fine. It's just going to sit here, pull up, sit on the transom. It's going to be absolutely fine. Good. Uh, right, that's it then. Uh, nine weeks to go. On it. On it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Thank you.